Hello and welcome again to Vibe Up and Heart Sync. Yes, normally I don't wear these earphones, but it's quite windy and I hope you're getting less wind this way. So we are today on mapping. How do we map this journey to Vibe Up and Heart Sync? And today I want to introduce to you two kind of archetypes that are surely ascension archetypes as they don't have a positive or negative expression and they're not stuck in duality and they're pretty free and open. So let me see how that works best for you and for me. So the three archetypes I want to introduce to you here who are concerned and who are not concerned in a way of worrying concerned in the sense of their being focused on maps and mapping and they are the map shifter the map breaker and the map maker there was a card deck from now oh i forgot her name baron yeah and the first card that i pulled was the map maker and i bought these cards claudette baron reed is her name and so these three have a lot to do with maps and what do they actually do but as it says in their name they shift they break and they make and maps are a little bit like stories often we find that stories are holding us in a certain way and this also goes into the drama into many different things so we have the hero story and the maps can be quite similar so they can be in a way that they take us to a certain final destiny that maybe is not really where we're supposed to go so when we wipe up and heart sink we actually want to shift the map that has a particular outcome. We want to shift the map in a way that we are in harmony with the flow, with the energy, with the vibration, and with this evolving consciousness. Because we want to shift the consciousness of the map from being predictable, focused on one particular outcome we want to shift it into being in harmony and oneness with what is evolving so the map shifter is a very important part of mapping it's about observing what is happening on your map does it just have these points that you are supposed to reach or does it allow the energy of the moment, the wonder and the magic. Does it allow different levels of consciousness? Does your map take the veils or keep everything under pressure and controlled? So map shifting is a very important part when we talk about mapping our vibing up and heart sinking. As we're going through the architecture of the heart, it is not about a particular outcome. It is not about a written destiny. It's the opposite. It's about shifting the way we look. So it's the observer. It's again the non-duality, the I am presence, your source fractal, your soul, your heart looking at this map from different perspective it's not making a map to get something it's maybe a map to go somewhere and maybe not really knowing where we're going so allowing the unexpected allowing the magic that is maybe not rational maybe it's not what you think that you want but it takes us where we all want to go so I'm inviting you to do some map shifting. Look from different angles. Not from the victim, not from the hero, not from your old self, from the identity and the persona. 
look from the observer look from the I am shift the consciousness that you are applying look from the perspective of harmony so map shifting is a wonderful way of applying your map in different ways and remember it's not about the outcome it's about where you are going we're going to vibe up and heart sink into new octaves of consciousness into a 5d living and so it requires us to shift our perceptions our views and our consciousness number two the map breaker takes us into breaking the maps also very important the shift is basically the way we're looking at it the new things that we are applying you will find on this way as you are choosing to look differently through the heart whatever we have spoken about you will actually recognize there are some things on your map that need to be broken old paradigms in particular old programs very strong and there's a little wasp flying around me obviously I have a message for you so I hope you're getting the message as you are breaking the fear as we are breaking these old concepts these paradigms to to be free I think it's a breaking free so when you break the parts of your map that you thought that they had to be that way that you had to fight that you had to be competitive as you are breaking these parts of your map you're actually breaking free you're breaking free to you so you can vibe up and heart sink so now maybe your map looks very different the map of your life destiny is not written you have nexus points that you can't avoid but it doesn't mean that you don't have choices the nexus points are opening up a destiny that is unexpected a destiny that you can write and that takes us now into the map maker and you making your map through these different lenses of reality through this old paradigms and programs and conditions that you have broken you are making now a new map that takes you where you want to go but not where you as the persona wants to go but where we go together as humanity to vibe up and heart sink into this new age into this new consciousness into 5d or whatever we want to call it so what does it take to make a new map a lot of breaking through and breaking free and shifting in the shamanic traditions that i have studied and practiced we're talking about fate and destiny and this is now the map making part we even put our fate of life into the fire and we're receiving our book of destiny and the book of destiny is actually the new map that you are making through the new lenses through that shift that you have gone through with all the things that you broke to break free now your map becomes the map of destiny that you are writing with your uniqueness so that we all can be one again to wipe up and heart sink how does that feel for you where are you i feel we need all three i'm still breaking my maps i'm still shifting and i'm still making we are all not there yet but we are in this together so as always i love 
your comments, your likes, you subscribing as being part of a community. And yes, we're doing these kind of things in our classes, in our retreats and privates. So yes, we're still doing some privates or mystic experiences to just get into that map shifting, map breaking and map making. That is very strongly connected, as I said before, to the stories that are part of the maps. So I see you there for more and thank you for being here today. Much love into your world.